Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I will be stuffing our cash envelopes and sinking funds with the third paycheck of December. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by counting the cash. We are stuffing $1,035. So I'm gonna count it for you guys, just to make sure it's all here. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400. 50, 100, 50, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yep, so we have everything here. And now I'm going to go into the budget for the week. Then I remove my poster with the denominations. For this week's income, Brian's paycheck came out to $2,136 with 55 cents. He did do quite a bit of overtime so that's why it's so much this week the only bills for the week is the natural gas which was $39 extra expenses I am putting aside 50 extra dollars for any Christmas extras so any food or if we want to purchase any you know clothing or anything we just have that it's set aside from our regular Christmas budget we're stuffing $315 into our cash envelopes $670 into our sinking funds. There are no debt payments for this week. So the week total for everything is $1,074. The total cash is $1,035 and any left over after I deduct the week total from the income is $1,101 with 55 cents. And that gets left in the bank for January's mortgage payment. So we're done with the budget for the week. But before I let you guys go and we continue to the cash stuffing, I just wanted to know if you guys enjoy me breaking it down for you or is it something I should just scrap and just do the cash stuffing. It's just um, I like to let you guys know what's behind the amount that I stuff. And um, but I would want to know if you guys would want me to continue to do this portion or if I should just, you know, get rid of it. But let's get on to the cash stuffing portion now. All right, let me move this over here and we're going to start with our cash envelopes like I always do. And we're going to start with gas. I'm putting $40 in gas. I usually put $40. It's been working out. So I still have, uh, so I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I still have the 60 from last week. And I also had a buffer in there, but I did pump gas. Was it yesterday or Tuesday? I can't remember. So um, I haven't taken the money out. It is going to be unstuffed in my next week's unstuffing video. So I can't roll anything over <laughs> because I don't know if I'm going to, need some i doubt it it's, the tank is full but i do have it reflecting in the transaction log but um so yeah i'm not going to be removing anything right now miscellaneous is getting 15 so it's a 10 and a 5 and now i have 10 15 20 21 22 Pets isn't getting anything. Beauty is getting 20. I still haven't got a haircut. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 101. Yeah, I haven't even called to make an appointment. I should probably note that in my planner. That should have been one thing that I had, um, that I would have noted in there, but I didn't. I will do it after though, because I need to call. Um, kids is getting 20. So now they have 20, 40, 60, 71. Gas is getting 
giving is getting five. Um, I think I was going to do the singles. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to put that in there. For you is getting 40, so 20 for myself and 20 for Brian. And now I have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. And he has 20. And I'll give it to him. I'm thinking I should probably roll some over. Um, yeah, I'm going to roll. I'm going to keep 25. And then I'm going to roll this 23 over to my J Funds sinking fund. So I'll just keep this right here. So now I have 25 for the week. Takeout is getting 50. I'm just gonna do a 50. And there's, how much is in here? 50, 55, 60, 61, 62. Groceries is getting 125. So 100, a 20, and a five. And it currently has $6 in there and I'm just going to roll this and put it into my rollover funds. So I'll leave it right here. And I'll have 125. And for household, that isn't getting anything because I am using my fetch rewards if I need any extra. But I currently have $27 here, so I think I'm good. I don't need to buy much of anything currently. So I don't want to be stuffing it and then I don't need it. And like I said, I'm using the Fetch Rewards. Um, any gift cards I can redeem. So um, that's it for my um, cash envelopes. And I'm going to go into my first binder. Oop. Okay. And... As you guys can tell, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it right here. I depleted uh, our emergency fund because I did transfer this money. I pretty much transferred it over to our room remodel because our room remodel was depleted since I had to buy a mattress and that pretty much took all of our money. But I explain a little bit more in that video if you are curious to know why. So emergency fund, we're gonna start off with $10. And start this baby back up we should be getting more aggressive with it come the next year once we get rid of any of the furniture that we have to pay off and then just um, the braces that should be paid off this month um, but yeah this should be getting increased quite a bit at the beginning of next year home repairs is getting 10 So now we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 350, 360, 370, 371, 72, 73, 74. Uh, home decor is getting 10. I was actually thinking of just reworking the budget because I have a monthly budget and then from that monthly I reference and that's how I break down our paychecks. But these sinking funds, I was thinking of just maybe not including so much money in each one, even if it's five, ten dollars or however much it is. But um, I don't know. I kind of just want to stick to it. If in the event I'm just like, you know what, we just need to pay off the furniture and I need to kind of deplete some of these envelopes. Well, that's something I can just rework the money in our binders if I feel like, you know, it's a necessity. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> Home decor has 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. Yeah, because I have seen a few people, they, they might have money in certain envelopes that it's not necessarily that important. So they end up reworking their budget and moving their money around, which I'm not opposed to that. I, if it's necessary, I will do it. But currently, I'm just kind of going along with the plan that I originally had at the beginning of the month. But that might change. I don't know yet. So rumor model is getting 125. 
So now it has, let's see, has 1,100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 295, 300, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. $1,306. And this has to get up to a little under $3,000 in order for us to completely pay off our furniture. And hopefully within the next two months, maybe three months, we can have it. I don't know, maybe it will take less time. I don't know. Here I am rambling again. <laughs> Utilities doesn't get anything. Car maintenance is getting 10. How is your guys' week going? Um, did you guys finish Christmas shopping? Has it been super busy? Um, I feel like it's been busy for me. And at the same time, I, feel, I still feel like I haven't gotten anything done. I, I think I always have that feeling. There's always like so many things on my plate, on my list. And somehow things just get added onto that list. And it just, it's a never ending list, right? Can you feel me on that? Car maintenance has 500. 520, 540, 560, 580, 610, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 629. Um, annual bills isn't getting anything. We're going to go all the way to actually the rollover funds. It's going to get the $6 from the grocery rollover. So now there's 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61. Who knows, whatever, I think whatever I accumulate in here for this month, I might just transfer it to the rumor model envelope. So that can also help. And then any extras, it's gonna be the $50 of the Christmas. So I'm just gonna put a 50 in here. And I still have the 100, so now there's 150 and this pretty much completes the extras for the month. Um, I'll see if I use it. If I don't, if I still need it for some presents because I'm short, then I can use it for that. Otherwise, I can also put it into the rumor model envelope to help out with that. And we're done with this binder. My alarm went off, so good thing I noticed that my phone wasn't recording. Otherwise, I would have just been going on about the video without actually recording which that has happened to me before and that is so frustrating but <laughs> good thing it didn't happen this time so we're gonna start with my daughter and she's getting five dollars now she has 500 600 700 720 725 730 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 771 my son phoenix is getting 10 and now he has five 600 620 640 660 680 700 720 740 750 760 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 805 10 15 20 820 my son josiah is getting 10 and he also has 820 so i'm just gonna not count his and i'll put it back in here my son isaiah is getting 20 and now he has 500 600 650 700 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 2040, 680, 900, 920, 940, 950, 960, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1,100, 1,001, and 1,002. Yay, finally he hit that one. Yeah, he hit the 1K mark, and now I can put a 1K slip once um i do my bill swap which i don't know if i should just do it this week or next week i'm not sure like i said i feel like i have so many things on my plate i've been struggling even to do these videos um back to school isn't getting anything i'm going to clothing and it's getting 50. now there's 50 
100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 245, 46, 47, 48. Activities, we're skipping that. We're skipping, oh no, health is getting 10. Now there's 1, 200, 10, 20, 35. 235. Family fun is getting 40. And now there's 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. You guys, I took a shower this morning and I need to start taking showers <laughs> before I film these videos because I feel refreshed and my mind feels like it's clear. I also don't have a lot to say. So maybe, I don't know. What am I saying? <laughs> um, vacation is actually not getting anything. I took out the money just for no reason. Birthdays is getting 50. It's Brian's birthday this Friday actually. So if you guys can please wish him a happy birthday so I can show him the comments. Um, yeah, he's gonna be 36. So I will be cooking something for him. He loves lasagna, so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. And um, he is taking the kids on Saturday to watch the Spider-Man movie. Cause one thing about him, even if it's his day, his birthday, he will still make it about his kids. So yeah. Me and my daughter aren't gonna go because if you guys didn't know, my daughter, she's two years old, so she is not gonna sit through no Spider-Man movie. And, um, but yeah, um, he should have a good time with them and they should enjoy watching the movie. And I I love that about him. The fact that he's just always about his kids. Um, shout out to him. <laughs> Birthdays is getting 50, 100, 150, one doesn't, isn't getting, has. 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 235, 240, 245, 46. Our oldest son's birthday is actually on the 22nd. He's going to be turning 16. And um, yeah, we won't have him because he will be at his mom's house. But um, I'm just going to kind of combine their birthdays together. If not, till the next time he comes, then we can do something for him. Uh, which would probably be either Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. I'm not sure which day. Um, anyway, let me just continue. Now, Christmas is getting 200. And I still have quite a bit to shop for. So now there's 500, 600, 700, 850, 865. Yeah, I still have quite a bit of presents to get. Hopefully, um, by this weekend or maybe next, not even next weekend, right? Next weekend is Christmas. <laughs> oh my God, I need to hurry up. Um, holidays is getting 20. I'm going to have to get online today and try and get everything. So there's tw 20, 40, 41, 42, 43. And dates is getting 10. And now there's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 101, 2, 3, 4, 104. And shopping isn't getting anything. Brian isn't getting anything. And I will be putting my rollover money. What is this for? 80? Oh, yes. Okay. So um, the J funds is getting $80. And this part of the money is actually to pay my pay back my credit card for the MacBook Pro that I purchased. There's some money that I had um, put aside that was supposed to go into my cash envelopes, but I got that all situated with either, like they said, the Fetch Rewards or also the some Sam's Club uh, credit that I had. So I'm using the money that I would have originally used for cash envelopes to put it in here and then to pay off my credit card. 
so that there's zero balance and um yeah i almost forgot about that so now there's 50 70 90 110 130 150 160 165 66 67 68 69 169 and that is to pay that i will pay that at the end of the month once i have everything accumulated i just need 100 more dollars which i will put in next week's um cash stuffing and this is actually my savings so now i have 20 20 40 41 42 43 and that's just for my personal savings and i'll put it in the back just to make sure i don't get that mixed up so that is it for my cash envelopes all right guys so we're at the end of this video before i let you guys go i did want to share that i did receive the elevated oh my tree <laughs> the elevated life co um planner and i'm so excited to break into it um i love it so far i flipped through some of the pages and it just it's awesome it is a lot smaller than the one i usually use but you know change is good i i know i'm gonna love it everything is already set out for me so i don't have to do everything from scratch and I'm just excited to break into it. I also did buy myself some mild liners. I see them everywhere. And I had been um, holding off to buy them. But I ended up returning some uh, Christmas decorations. It was like about $15 worth. So this was pretty much covered by that. And yeah, I, I love it. I'm probably going to start using highlighters instead of stickers. I don't know. I go back and forth. But um I mean, I have them just in case I do decide to do that, but I love it. I am so excited to start using it. And um, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it's soon. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye.